friends, Linda here. This afternoon I was thinking I'm gonna do something different. I've got this, this book, this is awesome book. Last year, uh, after the canning session had season had finished, <laughs> so I didn't have enough time to do anything else. But I found these two recipes. Strawberry lemonade concentrate and rhubarb juice concentrate. I have enough rhubarb out in the garden at the moment and it is ready. I haven't been harvesting from it this year yet. Like I did I did a couple of stems because they were like damaged by slugs when I was processing all of my rhubarb this year you saw. We are gonna make the concentrate. But for that I need lemons <laughs> and because of it because I need the juice from the lemons already started there is a 400 milliliters of juice I need a liter of freshly squeezed lemon juice I'm gonna start processing these but what I'm gonna do before that I'm gonna peel them um, so I can dry the zest out and then I'm gonna grind it and use it for other stuff as a dry zest it should work right the essential oils should still stay in the dried cells and then re rehydrate back out. Let me know if this idea makes sense. I remember my mom when I was a child like peeling lemons and oranges and drying the skins and then using them in cookies and then the cookies were tasting a little bit like oranges and lemons. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Wish me luck, there's lots of them. <laughs> It is 45 minutes later now and I have finished doing all of the lemons. My fingers look wrinkly and appealing. That is a liter of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We are gonna go and get some rhubarb now. I need, as the recipe says, three liters of rhubarb. In my mind, that's three kilos and um, it is raining. Like. A lot which is great for my garden but not so great when I want to go and harvest that thing <laughs> let me just put you down for a bit I don't have like a, a jelly bag, the, the recipe is asking, I don't know what that is. I do have a contraption though, I have an upside down chair with a cheesecloth <laughs> stuck on the legs <laughs> and a bowl underneath. <laughs> That's what I have. <laughs> the rhubarb is definitely getting more woody 
and I have an ant on my arm. I don't know, see? see? <laughs> I'm gonna let him outside. I have finished cutting the rhubarb. I should have worn gloves, I think, because my hands really, really hate me now. First lemons, no rhubarb. The acidity is like permeated my skin. We need to add one zest of a lemon, an orange. Don't have orange, so it's gonna be lemon, and it's gonna be these that. I don't care. We're gonna strain it anyway, so it just needs to boil. And then we need to add one liter of water to it. And now we just boil it. Until the rhubarb's soft. I'm putting this on first because it will take two hours to strain approximately and I want to finish it tonight. <laughs> I don't want to do it tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning I have a gym and then I have work. I might still need to do it tomorrow morning though. <laughs> Finished off. <laughs> I pulled out all of the strawberries that I have had. They are frozen because I've been picking them slightly unripe because I have slug problem. And they've been eating everything in the garden. So all the strawberries, if they are on the ground, they have holes on the bottom where little critters have eaten through. So these are the ones that I managed to save. This is about one third of what I had. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing a lot. But I don't mind sharing. I still have plenty and I have been eating them fresh as well, which is nice. For the next one, we need to blend this. I don't know how it's gonna go with frozen, but I need it as a puree. And I weighed it down, and this is about one kilo of strawberries. So I'm gonna start blending it. I'm gonna do the strawberries on this thing. And I have promised to myself that the next house I have with the kitchen is gonna have massive amounts of windows in the kitchen because I do want to look outside while I'm cooking and I would like some light <laughs> in in here you know apparently we need to puree these strawberries till they are smooth good luck with the frozen ones right I don't know I usually make smoothies with these but I Fingers crossed, it's gonna be okay. I think I need to add a little bit extra on because they are pureeing, but I just physically don't have enough depth to push this thing in it. So it starts to spin around and go around with themselves. So, putting more in. I put my canner on as well already and uh, I'm sterilizing the jars in it as the water is boiling. So that's going to be for this. The recipe says to puree these, add lemon juice and the sugar, not boil it, but get the, the juice, the sugar melted. <laughs> you know what I mean. and. Um, and then just heat it to like 88 Fahrenheit, 88 Celsius. Well, I don't have a thermometer. Oops. So I will need to pay attention to it just before boiling. You know, you can kind of see before boil. I'll do that. I may have overfilled this now. <laughs> Let's see the disaster. Come closer and enjoy this view of potential total failure. <laughs> because I have overfilled this, I think. I think it's gonna explode. I 
I need a taller skinnier pot because my stove is not that big so can I extra wide pot and another extra wide pot will not fit on my stove <laughs> Every time I look at this thing and try to clean it, you know like you, you want to kind of go in with your fingers and just scoop everything out and then I think of final destination. <laughs> If any one of you have seen that movie, this is why we don't drive behind the log trucks as well. We're adding all of our lemon juice to this lovely red mixture. Oh, didn't notice that I had some pips in there. Three, and then one and a half kilos of. Uh, Sugar. <laughs> it suddenly went like foo, foo, foo. <laughs> I have just added one lemon, uh, juice of one lemon to the rhubarb mixture. And now we're gonna let this one boil. Well, not boil. Melt the sugar and raise the temperature a lot. I'm just skimming the scum off the, the top because that's usually where all of the bad bits swim up like all of the impurities or if you haven't washed the rhubarb properly like all of the debris will float upwards and just collect in it so it's good to just take it off It's been boiling for about 10 minutes now and I think it's gonna be ready to be strained. I just need to go to the garage and get my chair and uh, make the contraption that I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Apparently now we need to let it process and drain for about two hours undisturbed. We can do that. It's very nice and pink though. <laughs> I was just mixing this and there are still some strawberries in there. You can see them floating about. <laughs> so we didn't get it all. Oh well, I think I will strain it in that case before I can it. Or do we just can it with the strawberries and it's gonna be like a nice surprise in the... <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna can it with the strawberries then. Because I'm lazy. And I can always pull them out when I'm making the lemonade. My jars are boiling. Uh, there. This I put the lid on just to bring the temperature up to, to get it to the right temperature. The lids are boiling already and I am ready to can. We will need to process it for 15 minutes. After it's ready, I need to get some rings as well. Ah. 
And then apparently we need to fill it up to like 5 millimeters from the top. I think that's a quarter of an inch. I'll probably leave a little bit more. One thing I'm going to say, it is extremely pretty at this stage. Ah. Can't show you. It's too hot <laughs> and too dark in here. <laughs> I have filled them all up. I have six full ones. And I actually didn't have much left over. Just a little piece. Now we're just putting the lids on. Oh, not yet. I need to do the rims first. Stop. I always do my rims with vinegar because not only it like cleans them, it sterilizes them as well. And we're doing this just in case that we have like bits and bobs of uh, like juice left over that might impeach the seal and not let it set right. Ah, hot, 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 hot. That's done. Now the lids. Just put them on. And then the ring is like finger tight. To me it's like wait words <laughs> so when you put it on you tighten it and it goes to a certain place and then you do a finger more like a finger width like and then we just put these back in and process them for 15 minutes recipe said that it's gonna be seven seven jars but it produced only six maybe my strawberries were not juicy enough I don't know who knows maybe it was because they were frozen and then the moisture was already like somehow pulled out don't know I am gonna go and tidy all of this up <laughs> all of this mess I don't care if I show it to you, it's it's a work in progress, right? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go and hang out with you guys upstairs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll show you tomorrow morning the rhubarb and I'll show you when this comes out. But otherwise I do really appreciate you guys and I hope to see you next time in my comments and hang out with you. Bye-bye. They are done. Gorgeous, aren't they? Good morning, it's finished, it's kind of like, it's a weird texture, it's like gelatinous a little bit instead of liquidy. I'm gonna add sugar to this and warm it up like the recipe asks and then I'm gonna can it <laughs> for 10 minutes. I think it could be that the lemon juice is actually reacting with the rhubarb, maybe? It asks for 375 grams of sugar for this. As 
always I make a mess everywhere where I go. And now we just get it to boil and can it. I'll see you when I take it out of the canner. It's ready. I got five jars out of this when it said that it should produce four. Look at the color. Gorgeous. And we are done. Ta -ta -ta. See you next time. Bye, friends.